jump right in with our political panel. We have with us today Donald Trump supporter Kaylee McEnany, former South Carolina state representative and Hillary Clinton supporter Bakari Sellers, Washington bureau chief for the Daily Beast, Jackie Kucinich, and Republican strategist Kevin Madden. Thanks one and all for being here. Kevin, let me start with you. Uh, the new polls from CNN ORC show the race uh, tightening considerably. Trump up by five in Arizona and by six in Nevada. Uh, Hillary uh, Clinton up uh, narrowly four points in Pennsylvania, two points in Florida. How much do you think this tightening was to be expected and how much do you think it was because of James Comey and the FBI? Well, there's a natural tightening, but I think it's come up a lot because I think you see a lot of GOPers coming home because of not just the FBI announcement, but a confluence of events. I think the Obamacare announcement last week about, about rates going up, the WikiLeaks and the FBI all served to bring a lot of them home. And I think um, there are a lot of conscientious objectors out there um, that didn't like either one of these candidates, but they definitely didn't want to vote for Donald Trump. And now um, a lot of are they, and they were going to vote for Hillary Clinton. And now that support has sort of softened. Uh, and so as a result, you're seeing uh, a tightening of these polls at, at a crucial time for Donald Trump when he's trying to get people out to vote. And w what do you see g going on out there? You know, one of the things that struck me was the gender gap and how in, in several of these polls, it is not as wide as it's been. And it, it actually makes it makes uh, Hillary Clinton's recent attacks make a lot more sense. The fact that she's going after Donald Trump again for his treatment of women. She had Alicia Machado on the trail with her. I, and I, I it. it, it it, it struck me in places like Florida, where it's only a couple points. Ohio, it's tied according to the Quinnipiac poll. So you can, I think we can expect those attacks to continue until that, uh, you know, widens up again. And we we see. I mean, you, you you point this out, but the Hillary Clinton TV ads that I've seen unleashed in the last two days yes. are entirely about. Donald Trump and women and that Access Hollywood video. Yeah, it's an old play that's worked in the past, and so they're running it again in hopes of, of driving of driving your numbers with women up and, you know, potentially college-educated uh, college men. And, Bakari, we've seen the Clinton campaign now releasing TV ads in Colorado, New Mexico, Virginia, and Michigan. These are states where they did not want to have to be advertising in the last week of the campaign. Well, these are also states where Donald Trump has not led in a single poll. Um, but what this is, is you have, you have two different campaigns that are in two different states of a race, I believe. Hillary Clinton is firmly in the GOTV mechanism where she's going to get her voters out. A lot of these ads that you're seeing are get out to vote messages. We know what enthusiasm, what, 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 what gives the base some enthusiasm. Donald Trump still has to win new voters to win this race. And so Hillary Clinton's blue wall, it, it, it runs through the Midwest, it runs through states like Colorado, it runs through Michigan and Wisconsin, is still very much in play. And Donald Trump's path to the White House is still very, very narrow. And, and, you know, she has a, a good problem. I mean, she has a lot of money to spend. And I would be really, really mad on Election Day if Hillary Clinton doesn't clear out the bank. And so a lot of this stuff is spending money that you have. And let me ask you, Kaylee, because you're one throughout this election season. I come to you and you, you have all these numbers at your fingertips. What are you looking at when it comes to election night? What states are you going to be focused on? Um, how, how is a Trump supporter gauging the night to see how well it is? So what I'm looking at is, according to the polls now where Donald Trump is leading, if he gets Florida, Ohio, retains the Romney states, gets Iowa, gets Nevada, he has leads in some polls in all of those states. That's 265. Then he doesn't have just Say one those states path. again? Florida, Florida Ohio, Ohio, Nevada, Iowa. Okay. Then he has to pick off one blue state, like Frank Lund said. Right now, if he can pick off one blue state, Wisconsin or Michigan or Pennsylvania or New Hampshire plus Maine second district, he can win this election. It's turning one blue state red. Those are the four paths that I'm looking at if he retains the leads he has in the, the states I mentioned. Do you think that it's, it's It's very, very hard. I mean, you're asking for an inside straight and I think the, the, the state I'm going to be watching is North Carolina when the polls yeah. close there and if Donald Trump hasn't um, kept North Carolina uh, it's not going to be a good night. Although Although I, win I, North Carolina. I agree with Kaylee though that New Hampshire is, is being under discussed. I think it's very very tight there. But, I mean, but, but Hillary Clinton also has not been down in a poll in New Hampshire for a very long period of time. The three states that the Clinton campaign is watching, Virginia, Colorado, Pennsylvania. She wins all three of those. She's at 269. Game, set, match. All right, Kaylee Bakari, Kevin Jackie, thank you so much. Appreciate it.